Hey, what, what did you say you wanted? Some oceans alive. <laughs> you get pretty passionate about your oceans alive, don't you? All right, buddy. How do you say it? Oh, okay. Okay, let's get you some oceans alive since you asked so nicely, bud. Where is it? Look at all that good stuff we have in there for you. Some Umka cold care just in case. Oceans alive. Oceans alive. What is that? Pure phytoplankton. All right. Let's take your oceans alive. All right, man. Is that pretty good? Oh, now you want coconut flakes? It never ends with you, man. It never ends with you. Hold on, let me tell everybody about about why we like marine phytoplankton. And then we can think about some coconut flakes. Kids always begging for coconut flakes. They are pretty good. Why do we like marine phytoplankton so much? I think because it's the exact opposite of the term overfed and undernourished. If you've ever heard that term before, it means pretty much, you know, you can go out to your favorite fast food establishment, I hope you don't have a favorite fast food establishment, and get a <laughs> burger and fries, and you're gonna fill up on calories, but those calories aren't going to nutrify you. There, there's no, no nutrition to them. Marine phytoplankton is, it's the exact opposite of that because it's hardly any calories, but it's an extreme dose of nutrition. It's one of the few things that has pretty much everything you could ever want as far as nutrients go. All plant-based products have, have a lot of stuff you want in there, different micronutrients. So micronutrients are, are things like flavonoids and you know trace minerals and flavones and isoflavones and so on and so forth. It's just, it's stuff that you can really only get from plants that that really you do need for optimum health. There's a lot of these in all different kinds of plants, but you want you still want the coconut flakes, huh? Just just be patient. You gotta be patient, buddy. Can you say, I'll be patient and get some coconut flakes soon? All right, if you're patient, you can get some coconut flakes soon, okay? Marine phytoplankton is one of the few things that has pretty much everything in in one, plant product. Uh, it's got, you know, amino acids, pretty much all the vitamins, pretty much all the minerals. You, you get, it's got your fatty acids, you know, the omega-3s and 6s and all that good stuff. It's really a very complete whole food product, which is why we love it. And and the other great part about it is it's very bioavailable, which is a which is a you know hot word that's thrown out a lot about about different products, but I mean, this is really these are single cells single you know phytoplankton cells that are literally going into your body for lack of a better term and so it's 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 not a lot to break down it's pretty much all that nutrition just within a single cell that is basically able to di uh, bypass your digestive system altogether and go straight to the source marine phytoplankton is the uh, you could say it's the basis of all life it's it's really what started in the oceans um absorbing light using photosynthesis to you know transform that light into energy and it's basically what feeds all sea life in one form or another and so you could make the argument that it therefore feeds all life it's a very foundational thing that is not surprising that it's so good for us anyway it's really great stuff we don't put all of our stock into any one product that being said uh, i like to i like to switch up you know, various green products. I always try to have at least one super, super, super food, which is really either marine phytoplankton or moringa, I think are my two most super green foods. And then we'll we'll rotate a big cast of, of green products, <laughs> of green products from there. Just a warning, it does taste like concentrated seawater. You saw Ryder just slam it down because he, uh, he has a very special palate. But if you do not, prefer concentrated seawater, 
throw it in, even just if you throw it in a, enough water, you can't really taste as much. It just tastes like a little bit like seawater. Or you throw it in, you know, your favorite juice or something of that nature, a health drink, maybe some kombucha. And it really, it really just blends right in with anything. So there you go. Go enjoy some phytoplankton.